What's up everybody, Sir Phobos here, and we are in Subnautica some more. And we are actually in the uh, the other mushroom forest, the one that's further from the uh, the Aurora. It has this uh, this giant mushroom tree. We took a little detour, we just got back from the shroom forest. Uh, there's a cyclops. Um, and I recall there being a big wreck out here that I think has the uh, uh, blah 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 power charger, power cell charger in it. But uh, I saw this too. I thought I got all the wreck or the uh, down escape pods. I guess I missed one because uh, I certainly don't remember coming out to this uh, this biome. Um, but yeah, so out here, here there's a, another large piece of the wreck, uh, and I'm pretty sure it's got tasty fragments in it that we want. So I, I thought we'd make a quick detour and uh, poke around in here first. Ah, gold. Um, uh, now this one's actually a little bit safer uh, than the other one, just because this one doesn't have a reaper. But this one does have bone sharks still, so you just gotta be careful. Don't let the bone sharks find you. It's a giant piece of the wreck. Where the hell is it? <laughs> so there's one there, just hanging out. Um. Yep. Hi. Hello. I thought it was right around here somewhere. Like it, like you couldn't miss it, kind of deal. So gotta be careful going up too. Uh, shoot. I might actually have to swing around with the Cyclops. Or the Cyclops. The Cyclops. The Cyclops. Let's see here. And of course, it doesn't help that, you know, distant things don't load in very well. Uh, oh, that's, that's the Blood Kelp. We can go look over there real quick. That's scary. Oh, I could get, uh... What's it called? The, uh... Benzene or whatever. And then that will lead me to, uh... The armored, uh... What's it called? Dive suit. I am just... I am on top of the words right now. Let me tell you. Uh, what is this? Oh. I don't know what that is. I will pick it up. There's one. There's one of those scary bastards. Alright. So these guys, that bulbous brain spider over there. Uh, those guys are super annoying. Oh, he's coming over here. Fuck. They, they are aggressive. Uh, they'll attack the sea moth. Uh, but what's super annoying about them is they'll send out EMP pulses that disable your electronics for several seconds. And that's, that's no good. You don't want that. Uh, I don't think it actually drains it. I think it just disables it for a little bit. But it's still really annoying. And I can't recall if they can actually damage the sea moth or not. But if they can, you know, it's... Load oil... Blood oil, blood oil. That's what I want. Uh, now they're not hyper aggressive. You know they're not gonna come chase you down like the uh, the bad bad fish will. But they will, they will come harass you if you're close to them. It looked like that guy was phasing through the terrain a little bit. <laughs> so they're not they're not super great. But it looks like this this little area is relatively safe. Oh, inventory full. Oh, because they're huge. Good. Oh, and it's one of those, too. But there's the wreck. Uh, that's one of the electric little spiners. I think they do hurt the, uh, the sea moth. There. Oh, it's in the tree. Was it in the tree? Oh, man. I don't remember that. But, okay. Around here, around it. Uh, no, it doesn't look 
looks like it. Okay. So we're gonna go exploring in the tree, I guess. Coming here from the bottom. Hello? Nice, it's actually not too deep. Um. Bottles of water. I am officially out of food, though. Hello, hello. Oh, picture frame. I guess I'll take you. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Oh, this is disorienting. Okay. Let me, let me get my bearings here and get some air. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Actually, let me just see if there's a... All discombobulated. Let's see if there's an easier way in. I mean, that had all the doors and everything. Ooh, there's something. There's a propulsion cannon. Yeah! Whatever. Uh, if I could find a stasis rifle fragment, now that. That would be something. It's another propulsion. Oh, let's see here. Here's a nice way in, it looks like. I don't know what that sound is. That is, ha <laughs> ha, that is terrifying. All right. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, what do we got? Nothing. Get that PDA though. Uh, looks like that was one we already had, huh? Really, no goodies? Okay. Well then. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Maybe I was wrong about this being a good place to jump in at. Huh. Okay. Guess maybe I do gotta go into the bottom. Okay. Fair enough. Let's head back in this way and open some doors, I guess. Alright. What we got? Darkness. Door right here. This is really, <laughs> it's really messing with me, the perspective. All right, let me, I got a flashlight, don't I? Yeah, let me put that on. Oh, good. There was stuff out here. Am I wrong? I might be wrong. Alright. Can't do anything with that door. This door leads nowhere. Can't do anything to that door. Okay. Looks like I can cut this door though. Do that real quick. Quick being relative, of course. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen yeah. remaining. Okay. I think I can get the door, run back, grab some air. I think I think we'll be alright. Yep. Alright. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Yep, thank you. Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Alright. Let's 
see if we got any goodies in here then. Oh, this power cell charger, good. Excellent. That is what I like to see. Power cell charger, power cell charger. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was here. I, just, I remember this wreck being on the ground, though. I don't remember it being up in a tree. That's super cool. Caution. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, there is. Okay. Well, that was... That's what I wanted from this detour. <laughs> oh, and you know, I got the... Stupid blood oil, which... Oh, excuse me. Oh, uh, let's see. What can we do with blood oil? We can turn it... Where... Where is it? It's one of these. Not the still suit. It's the armor diet suit. So synthetic fibers... Apparently it's not on here, but it should be. All right, whatever. When we when we get back to the base, we'll, we'll see it. But we can turn that the blood oil into whatever we need to make synthetic fibers, and we can turn that into the armored dive suit. So we should be in good good shape. Because I hope six is enough. I don't remember how many it took, but we'll find out here in a second. food and stuff too but we got the water filtration so we don't ever have to worry about water again Captain, all systems online thank you and we'll have infinite salt because of that too uh what are i i do have some titanium too okay i'm gonna pause it here and i'll get back to home base now and we will we will see you there bye all right and we're home and we have a message waiting for us, which is curious. I don't know who could be calling us. Welcome aboard, Captain. Clear message. What? Subject 11783 destroyed. Mode switch patrol. New targets unaccounted for. One. What the fuck does that mean? Huh. Huh. Okay. Well, we get a bunch of logs to read, too. Oh, hey, Cyclops! Um. So let's see what we can do here. Can I throw down. Uh. Water filtration machine in here? No, maybe not. Oh, I can put it there, which I don't, I don't want it there. It's in the way of my ladder. Oh, uh, I can't put the ladder in the middle of the room because of the ding-dang bioreactor. Can I put it in here? Oh, I can put it in here. Look at that. Perfect. Make me water. Please and thank you. Okay. Oh, hell. I don't want to pick it. I wanted to eat some potatoes. All right. All right. Let me let me sort this crap out real quick. Let me get rid of these stupid uh uh what's gonna call it? Blood oils. Okay. So three blood oils becomes a benzene. Synthetic fibers. Okay, a benzene and a fiber mesh. Okay. So I need fiber mesh. And I can make the reinforced dive suit. Okay, perfect. And they're not big. So we'll we'll do that here in a minute. Let me just get my food situation stabilized here. Eat some more delicious potatoes. Uh, drink a bottle of water. Alright. Good. Water filtration is up and running. 
Uh, the base is actually losing quite a bit of power from that. Turn on the bioreactor here. Oh, it is on. Oops. Okay, bioreactor is working. Well then. And solar panels are working. Okay, I guess, I guess things are working. All right, let's take a look and see what we got here. Oh, you know what? I missed a uh, ah, shit. Uh, <laughs> I missed a log from uh, the abandoned sea base. It was in that first locker, and I missed it. And I'll have to go back for that. Ah, okay. Well, let's see what we got for now. Ah. Uh, We've been living in this habitat for a month now. I thought I might get claustrophobic. Father feels it. Uh, he tell me it was childish, but I stare out the window and sometimes think of how lucky I am to be on this, be to see this planet uh, up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. Uh, Marguerite has been bringing back the wildest specimens you could imagine. The fish down here, they glow. There's this one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes the length of the whole corridor section. Um, so this is the the Degasi crew the, that we found on the floating island. Uh, I guess they ended up moving underwater like they said they were going to. And they chose the Shroom Cave for whatever reason. Uh, that seems like a terrible place, but okay. 99% uh, of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way, but I've managed to coax some land plants into growing indoors. Uh, and when they don't cover it, well, we eat the live specimens. It creeps me out, but it's survival. Uh, I've been attempting to document my findings. Father says we need to learn how to take advantage of the ecosystem if we're going to survive. To be honest, I'm just doing it because I enjoy it. Uh, it's not easy without a proper lab and equipment, but, uh, but the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, reveals things that a spectroscopic analysis never would. All right. Lately, I've been watching the sea snakes that live in the purple mushrooms that grow down here. They ambush the prey as, if it, uh, as it tries to feed on the mushrooms. What they don't consume settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feed their herbivores, and the chain continues. Co-evolution just blows my mind. Okay. Uh, based on my wild theories about alien behavior, she hand-fed an alien shark. Uh, when she came home with a fresh cut on her forearm, didn't say anything about it, of course, but I'd guess it took a couple of tries. She says once they're fed, they're harmless. She brought home all the teeth we need. Uh, so let's tell you. Oh, so it tells you how they get stalker teeth. Oh, so I wonder. I wonder if you feed them, you get a tooth, huh? On one hand, that's the most badass thing I've ever heard, and now I'm sitting in the observatory watching biters tap harmlessly on the glass. On the other hand, how many of those incredible creatures does she have to kill just to tame one? What effects are we having on the ecosystem here? If only I had a full-size aquarium, I would kill the study of these life forms in more detail. Okay. Uh, so that's them on that. The pecking order. Bart, I don't understand why you're so angry about it. All I said it was her idea to come down here, not yours. Son, in life there's always a pecking order. You learn your place within it over time. In our world, money makes the hierarchy. I pay uh, Medea a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. I'm at the top of the pecking order, but one day it'll be you. If money makes hierarchy, why is Marguerite making all the decisions? Why is Marguerite making the decisions? Um, all this expensive education, uh, and I'm still the one that has to school you. We need her. Let her think what she likes as long as she does what she's told. What if she doesn't? For enough money, she will. People always do. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the mud. Part of another ship? None I've seen. It's not even scratched. Don't touch it. It could be valuable. Excuse me. Uh, stand down. Uh, stand down, chief. I'm just looking. If we're going to crumble the dust, it would have it would have done so when I first picked it up. It's glowing. It's still powered. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People, maybe, could be aliens. Could be a damn sea monster. Just one way to find out. See, I picked that up in the abandoned sea base, but I think that was for the artifact that was in their base. Huh. Uh, this is the one I just picked up in that piece of the wreck. 
The way I see it, no one's to blame here. She gave me the wrong coordinates. He didn't give me he didn't give me clear instructions. Okay, I'll rephrase. You've been equally incompetent. Now we've lost time, but we're closer to the planet. So to the Degasis out there, the scan should pick it up. Why are we even helping the Mongolians? Aren't they the competition? Uh, enjoy your shore leave on Senjay Station. Like having fuel in our tanks? Thank the Mongolians. We run the scans, we show the Mongols we didn't find anything, and we say thanks for the free dinner. Clear? Sir, there's something odd on the surface scan here. Turn that recorder off. Oh, snap. Okay. Uh, oh no, this was oh this was the the one in thirteen. Uh, life pod systems online. Passenger zero seven. Emissary Jacai Kazar Kazar has boarded the life pod. Life pod launch sequence initiated. Detached from the Aurora. Uh, onboard microphone recording. My creators, the cherishers and sustainers of the world, give me this my daily goods and allow me my pleasures as I allow those who seek pleasure from me. Uh, show me the pet. Oh, so he's saying a prayer as he as he fucking crashes into the planet. Life support systems failed. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay. Uh, so I mean, it's it's cool. It's flushing out the world quite a bit. Um, we were they, the Aurora had a side mission, the Altera search and rescue mission, for the Degasi, uh, and that's where all these are. We're finding out about them, which is super cool. Uh, and then we're finding out about more of the crew on the Aurora, which, you know, they're just, they're just average people, apparently. <laughs> um, just out here to work on a phase gate or something, whatever, whatever that is. I don't know. It's cool. It's good stuff. All right. Oops. So, what are we at? We got water cooking. Got all that. I'm going to try to recollect that vehicle. Okay. I don't want to get way out over there. Now that I got the Cyclops, uh, I'm going to need it for the prawn. I don't want the prawn to go all the way down there. That thing's a pain in my butt. Oh, you dumb thing. There it goes. Okay. Cool. All right. So we're making a lot of progress. Um, I'm going to spruce up the base a bit more now. i uh, got to find a place to stick the battery charger. I'm going to have to probably stick some more power on there. Um, stick the mobile vehicle bay. Oops. Do it. I don't know, just like right, right there, I guess? Yeah, that'll be fine. Oh, we'll get the prawn suit ready. I gotta build a moon pool. Okay, so I got a lot of stuff Welcome to do. Aboard, Captain. Um, but I found the power charger. Um, oops. Oh, where's my habitat builder? My goodness, I'm losing my mind here. Okay. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so I got the vehicle modification station. Oh, I'm going to need so much silver. That's going to be a pain in the butt. Yeah, I just need... I need a ton of silver. <laughs> okay. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go find a whole bunch of silver, build all my new fun toys. Yeah. Uh, and then we will get ready and do that. Um, actually, uh... I guess real quick, I'm gonna get those synthetic Welcome fibers. Aboard, so we got got a creep vine forest right over here. We'll do that. Make the armor dive suit, uh, and then we'll call it an episode. So we'll have the armor dive suit, and then I'll I'll do all this crazy collecting off camera, and we'll get uh, uh I guess get ready for the next phase of whatever we're gonna do. Uh, I still need to find the other... Uh, I need to find the stasis rifle. That would be super useful to have. Um, what else are we missing? Prawn suit upgrades. Um, you know, I have that torpedo arm. 
Prawn upgrades, stasis rifle. Thermal plant, I guess. Um, I mean, just to have it. I don't know. I don't know how much, how many other bases we're going to construct if I need to or not. Hmm. I don't know. Lots, lots to do, apparently. Lots to do. <laughs> Oh, find the scanner room. That's right. Since we were just talking about that. Uh, I guess I don't know where to get the scanner room now. So, let's see here. Oh, synthetic fibers. Okay, it was only two, so whatever. Let's go ahead and burn all that up. fibers which don't have an icon yet it's okay and armor a reinforced dive suit hey there we go and we'll just put that on okay take off the radiation dive suit okay cool that worked out great. And then just stick that in there. Ha! Get rid of that. Oh. What? Send us with the Aurora's crew and the ship's long distance communication relay is indeterminate. If any of the ship's data coils remain intact, it may be possible to salvage this information. Why are you telling me this? I want to scan this. What are you? Separate on the way to. Okay. Hey, I've never seen this resource before, so this is this is new to me. Uh, essential for advanced vehicle modifications. Okay. So that's cool. It must be used for some of the uh, higher upgrades. Awesome. Okay. Uh, with this episode's gone on long enough, guys. So we're gonna pause it here, and we will see you in the next one. Uh, goodbye.